Yeah, but I've uh, <laughs> tried getting um, some nice photographs on that. Try getting uh, Joey's uh, Christmas present together. Yeah, <laughs> this is the problem with uh, you know uh, Australia. We, we he's cut. That's why I like black and white because you can still read stuff out in the sun. So <laughs> anyway, yeah, I tried this once. I've already done and found it wasn't recording something. But at least now I've taken the the world mesh. The world mesh chicken wire off and uh yeah I, i've got my sunnies on because it's just so bright so i don't know what you're going to see and um, got some interesting uh yeah we've basically been locked down again basically can't go to the shops can't do anything so you know it's going to be playing it by ears or anything anyway i'll take this off because i probably need to and uh Remember we've got a Tunga Pete there, we've got Debco Pete here. Interesting news about CPC germination. Debco looks a little bit wetter now. It's been, it's now six weeks and five days. Uh, when I checked on si exactly six weeks, couldn't see any germination. Yesterday, six weeks, four days, noticed some germination, but only on the Debco one. Somewhere down there, I don't know if you can see them. There are some seeds germinating. There are some seeds germinating on this very dark coir now. But what was interesting is uh, four weeks and six days, just in other words, one day exactly of five weeks, the the um, toilet rolls, which were staying nice bleached white, suddenly went yellow overnight. So four weeks and six days, they were still white. Four, uh, exactly five weeks, boom, they've gone this sort of off yellow colour sort of thing. And there is a bit of seed germination, in it. I don't know if you can see it, but what is most interesting is this one with the UF from ODI foam. They seem to be growing more robust, got more vigour to them. I don't know if you can see them down there, but uh, yeah, I might have to take a screenshot. But they seem to be more robust with more vigour sort of thing. Of course, the UF Smithers Oasis uh, floor foam is uh, UF from aldehyde. It's a basically a high nitrogen uh, plastic in a way. And um, you might want to explore things like melamine, which is also another high nitrogen, uh, fairly semi-permanent uh, plastic sort of thing. So uh, anyway just thought you like that interesting news so you might want to get some other plastics and start playing with this yourself Jeez. Okay. now I just go out here they want 49 I don't know yeah I know uh, Adelaide Agapanthus capital of the world um, been watering this area like with 50 counts uh, to, to keep it looking like this through the whole day you'd need actually two waterings which would be 100 counts basically but if you notice this sort of swale area look you've seen things like this in the wild sort of thing I just had an idea why don't uh, we take a, uh, a toilet roll fill it with uh, crushed floor, floor foam so basically a 10 litre bucket crushes down to a 2.4 meter litre size milk bottle because four of those make a 10 litre bucket, bucket roughly four to one crush ratio and stick the toilet roll in the ground just with the surface uh, up or something like that and put some seeds on it and see and just water it um, would it stay wet enough with just one watering a day which we basically can afford to do uh, here driest state in the driest continent on the planet sort of thing. Um, will we get seed germination about uh, uh, after six weeks? The fact that you've got the soil surrounding touching the uh, toilet roll, maybe you'll get infiltration from the brown rock fungi attacking the white wood, leaving the lignin, that's why it's called the brown rock fungi, as far as I know. It's very confusing, it's a bit like uh, uh, flammable and inflammable. Yeah, I've done this speech before. I'm, I'm trying to repeat everything I said. <laughs> it sounded like it came on, I got the sound of it coming on, so I probably got a very, very short clip of about a few seconds and then it switched off or something, I must have touched the button or something. But anyway, that's the idea, maybe we can bury a toilet roll, you might, you might want to try this yourself with some urea formaldehyde crushed floor foam or maybe some melamine granules before they go into a hopper if you're into plastic injection mouldings or something, or some other long-term high nitrogen 
plastic sauce or something like that, you might want to try that. So you, you might want to compare it with, you know, um, cut up high density polyethylene, which has no nitrogen in it basically, and see the difference. Do some comparison work with things like that. But uh, you put, put one in the sun, put one in the semi-shade, you know, it gets shady most of the day and do all this sort of thing. But just I thought it was very interesting news that the ones that are on the urea from aldehyde high, high nitrogen source, basically a plastic, are much more they're growing faster and much more robust with uh, um, vigor and thriftiness to their look sort of thing. So, but uh, again, it took um, and the the germination didn't occur until basically it was about five weeks before suddenly the the uh, the bleach white of the toilet roll went to that sort of off yellow color overnight basically and uh, after that I th so I think that's what it is maybe you'll get that um, change in the color of the toilet roll faster if you bury it in the ground sort of thing just with the surface exposed sort of thing and, and you water it on a regular basis so just thought you might want to know that anyway uh, go back to whatever is it we put these things in yesterday, go to spot Cullen again, and uh, yeah, they're doing it tough. I, said, I watered it midday and I watered it about two hours later. I've just watered it in, in the last half an hour, sort of thing. So, uh, one of these things in down there, I don't know if you can see that uh, trap coming out there. It had a, like a spearmint green on it and like the red of a royal red, sort of thing. I think, well, it isn't just an ordinary fly trap, so how come it's showing the look of a of royal red when it's just a, a typical basically yeah it makes you wonder yeah this one's probably going to do a lot tougher so, but uh, at least they're alive and I don't know they're doing the same thing they seem to almost, almost lose that sort of glowing fluorescent look you see in the shops it's almost like it's, it's water soluble it's almost like it's, it can be washed out or go through the transport system, you know, sort of thing, and just fall out of the plant into the soils within the colour. So, <laughs> yeah, it makes you wonder. The, um, uh, is it Brad Brentwood or something? One of his videos, he was saying he almost felt like the, the, the traps were painted or sprayed or something. They were spraying the traps with some red or something. <laughs> seems to be able to wash off or something. So, yeah, I've noticed that, that what the colour seems to almost be able to be washed off. But, uh, yeah... I don't know, we'll see. But that one, this one's got calcium in it, so, you know, uh, I'll be doing better than that. Well, I would have expected them just to collapse or something like that, but you never know. Anyway, keep an eye on it. We'll keep plugging it around, and if they survive for, and, and start to grow sort of thing, well, then um, I'll move on to going full retire this in 2022, which is uh, rapidly uh, coming upon us, sort of thing. But... Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be looking at this cape to see whether it comes back or not. Because capes are supposed to be indestructible. You know, Donny could bring them back to life from a dried out lump of peat, sort of, or peat and sand basically. So yeah, sorry about this. The other day, I got the wrong focus. I think, let's do an experiment. I think I should, when I'm this sort of close, I've got to use 49 area. Yeah, okay, I'm on 49 area now. Is it in focus now? Because, okay. And when I do, go, extreme close up I have to use spot cullen but I've got to have something behind it or something to get the camera to think that it's actually just I'm closing in on the soil or something I don't know but you can, you can do the same trick though by firing your flash through some toilet paper seems to trick the camera into focusing on plants you can't usually focus on like you know the, the rainbow sun or something like that just uh just an idea then so uh, yeah still getting bubbles coming out of that that spot there and when, when you've got the water on it it pushes extra water over the side sort of thing oh yeah see got bubbles there do you see that bubble just come up then so there is activity in the water sort of thing in the system anyway that's about it for now i haven't got much else to say just to say these are they're, they're doing the usual thing they almost like lose like they the colour falls out of them for a start. You know, uh, what did Joey say? They're not hardened off or something. So I don't know if he knows something a little bit extra, but uh, we'll see. 
getting a lot of our Australian sun and as I said, it's so bright I've got to wear. Yeah. <laughs> you wait till February, it's so bright. We have to wear our dark glasses at night or something. <laughs> Just a joke there. Okay, over and out for now. See ya.